Hello everyone. Welcome back once again. Today we're going to, I'm going to walk you through the steps to set up a TypeScript Angular project inside of Visual Studio 2022. By the end of this video, you will have a basic Angular application up and running. So let's get started. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also like and share the video as well if you can. So to get started, make sure you have Visual Studio 2022 AppWorks installed on your system. If you haven't, head over to the official Visual Studio website and download the installer. So during installation, make sure that you, you select ASP.NET Web Development Workload. Yeah, but if you already have a Visual Studio installed, yeah, open your Visual Studio installer and then click Modify. Once you click on the Modify, you'll be taken to these workloads, yeah? So you got to make sure that you have this box checked, ASP.NET Web Development. So this will help you build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET and standard-based web technologies, including HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and JSON. <clears throat> also, make sure that you have, you have this box checked, Note.js Developments, okay? and download and install them. So once you're done with that bit here, let's head over to the uh, Visual Studio. So now we can, before we create, we go ahead and create a new project here. Open your command line. I'm going to open a command line now. So you open the command line and you type this command. Make sure you type this command to install the, the Angular CLI, yeah? So as you can see, yeah, I've already have it installed, yeah? But make sure you open the command line and you, you type this command, yeah? Before you, before you create a new project, okay? So once you're done with that bit, yeah, let's go back to the Visual Studio. Now we can go ahead and create a new project. So here, <clears throat> as you can see, yeah, Let's go ahead uh, on the project type. Let's select web here yeah, to make it faster. Let's select web. Scroll down and look for Angular. Or you can you can type it at the search the search bit here. Yeah. I'm just gonna type it here, Angular. So as you can see here, we've got a bunch of Angular projects. So this, this is what we use, a standalone TypeScript Angular project here. So let's select the first bit, click on Next. So here, you can configure your project details, yeah? Like uh, the project name and whatnot, yeah? So make sure you have a look at it if it's, if it's necessary for you. So once you're done with that bit, yeah, let's go ahead and, and click on Create. So now that we have the project created here, let's let's have a look quickly or explore the project. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a bunch of folders and files. Yeah. So here, as you can see, we've got um, the public folder. So the public folder just contains the image, like or images like the fave icon and whatnot. Yeah. Then we've got the source folder. So let's have a look at the source folder here. Yes. The source folder contains the source code of your Angular application. So inside the source folder, we also got the app folder. Yeah. So as you can see, yeah, the app folder contains the main folder for your application components, yeah, which we're going to have a look at in a bit. Okay. And also, And also we have the angular.json. So the angular.json is, uh, is a configuration file for your Angular project, okay? So now, 
before we, we, we have we go ahead and run it let's let's have a look so as you can see inside the the, 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 um, the source or the app folder we have app components app.components.html let's have a look at it so this is what we have here so this contains the main application components okay so as you can see, these are the, the application files for the project. Okay, once we run it, we will have we can we will see how they all, they all come out. Yeah. Okay. So first, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. We're going to right click on the on the project and then um, open terminal, open in terminal. Yeah. So it's just taking a while to load here. So let's give it a moment. So as you can see, we've got a, um, the project terminal open here. So to run it, we're just going to type um, ng serve. Okay, and press enter. So as you can see here now, we're getting some error, yeah. So we're going to leave it here, but obviously we can also run it from here. So let's go ahead and click this bit here to run it on our local host. So as you can see here now, we've got the project up and running. So let's have a look. I mean, let's wait for the uh, for the build to complete. Okay. So as we can see here now, we have our first Angular application running using our Visual Studio 2022. So looking at it, it's not very complicated to get yourself up and running. Okay. So I will leave the video here for you to um, explore further, okay? So you can have a look at what, what changes that you can make and build, um, continue to build your knowledge on that, okay? So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Stay blessed. And also, please, 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 please make sure you share the video and like it as well because this will definitely help the channel. Okay? Bye bye.